my name is Alexis Weisgerber and I am a current physical therapist assistant student at Anne Arundel Community College. I've researched the journal article, Exercise Interventions for Upper Limb Dysfunction Due to Breast Cancer Treatment, published in 2013 and written by the authors Mary Lou Galantino and Nicole L. Stout. The purpose of this was to determine if an exercise program that specifically targets the upper limb and given preoperatively, postoperatively, along the course of chemo and radiation therapy and follow-on treatment can help reduce upper extremity impairments the patients diagnosed with breast cancer. The authors anticipated that physical therapy interventions to restore and maintain arm and shoulder mobility after mastectomy surgery is ideal to reduce overall morbidity. This review included 24 randomized controlled clinical trials. Out of the 24 trials, 10 examined the effects of early versus delayed completion of postoperative upper limb exercise, and 14 examined the effect of structure upper limb exercise versus usual care intervention. Now, out of these 14 studies, six examined postoperative exercise programs, three examined exercise programs during treatment, and five examined exercise programs following cancer treatment. The results of these studies support that upper limb exercises are ideal in the recovery of upper extremity movement following surgery. Early exercises results in better shoulder movement, however, it resulted in greater amount of drainage. Structure upper limb exercises showed benefits in healing of shoulder flexion and abduction when completed postoperatively during the course of chemo and radiation therapy, and follow-on treatment. Upper limb exercises following treatment was known to improve the quality of life to patients, which is important to their mental health and physical health. This information is important to know in the physical therapy field because it is crucial to know how to beneficially treat patients not only with cancer, but patients with joint replacements or other medical conditions. It is always good to know if physical therapy is beneficial to patients either preoperatively, during treatment, postoperatively, or following cancer treatment.